Hello guys and welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. I receive a lot of questions uh, both on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. Um, so we thought that today we're going to do this uh, Q&A video uh, where I answer a few uh, random questions from uh, my different uh, social platforms. The first question is from Instagram and it's from underscore MRK underscore and he asks how come you don't use uh, Astrox uh, 88S anymore? And then afterwards he asked the same question in Chinese. Uh, thanks for your question first of all. And um, last year before, uh, after my injury, uh, it's right that I changed back to the Yonex uh, Astrox uh, 88S. However, um, I found out after a few tournaments that you know the Dua Set Strike, which I use most of 2017 and I use now, is a better fit for, for my playing style personally. You know, every player is different um, and the 88S was might a little bit too light for me. Um, I like a ragged with a little bit of a heavier frame. Um, so the Dua Set Strike, uh, I found out, was, was definitely the right choice uh, to start with. Um, so that's why I changed back. Um, but again, the Yonix uh, Astrox 88S is still a really good racket. Uh, you just have to find out what, uh, what you like the most. And I've got a lot of questions about that also on Weibo and, uh, and the other Chinese platforms. So, um, If you want to know more about the Duo Set Strike, you can always uh, check out the All England vlog uh, where, we, uh, where we talk quite a bit about uh, this racket. The next question is from YouTube and it's from Ashish Huda and he or she ask um, can a boy become a badminton well, he's probably a boy <laughs> can uh, a boy uh, be uh, become a badminton player at the age of 17 and um, you know this question I received quite a lot um, and people ask you know I started pretty late can I still become a badminton player um, should I pursue my dream and all that um, and I think that you know if you like to play badminton and it's your passion I think you should do everything you can to become the best player possible I gotta be honest that not every you know anyone can become a world champion or even play at the you know the most uh, the, the best tournaments in the world however if you if you do all you can to be the best version of yourself I think you will learn a lot no matter what and again, if you think that it's fun to play badminton, I don't think necessarily you should think too much about, you know, can I become a professional? Um, you know, if it turns out that you can and you have a talent for it, it might be that even though you started at the age of 17 or 20, you can become a really good player. However, I don't think that should be the goal. Uh, I think the goal should be to uh, have fun and practice hard and then see how far you can come. Regarding your age, uh, being 17 years old, um, I think you know it's going to be really hard if you want to make it to to the top of the world. Um, I personally started when I was six years old and have been training a lot of hours. So my point of view is that if you want to make it to the top, you have to to practice a, a certain amount of, of hours. And I think it's going to hard uh, be hard to reach that at the age of 17. However, I don't say it can't be done. I'm just saying that realistically, um, there isn't many players on the world tour who, who started at the age of 17. But I wish you the best of luck and I think you should go for it. And um, yeah, keep working hard. The next question is also from Instagram and it's from they call me underscore HC. And he asked, what string do you use now? And as you can see here, uh, it's a little bit of a different color than what I used last year. And that's because right now I'm using the Aerobyte Boost string, um, also from Yonix, of course. Um, it's sort of the, the same string as the Aerobyte. However, this one should give you even more control. Um, I've used this for a solid three months or so now, and I actually really like it. Um, I don't necessarily think that the, that the sound is as good as the um, normal Aerobyte string. However, I find that the control with the Aerobyte boost and the power especially is, uh, is great. So um, at this moment, I'm really, uh, I'm really comfortable uh, with this string and I really like to, uh, to use it during my, during my, uh, my matches and, and training. And you can always find more information on Yonix website and, um, and maybe just try it out for training or so if you're a little bit on Shakur, if, if this string is for you, you can always just try one racket. You don't have to, to change uh, all your racket strings um, right at the bat. The last one uh, for this video is from Chandra Shekhar on YouTube. 
And he asked if it's not difficult to manage studies and badminton at the same time, and then what's your tip about this? Uh, to be honest, I haven't been the best um, student uh, in, 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 in school and high school for that sake, you know. I don't have any education whatsoever, um, but I did learn Chinese beside my badminton, so I can only, you know, share my tips about that. You know, I think that if you want to be the world best uh, on the badminton court, you can't be the world best outside uh, in school. Um, I think it's simply too tough and too demanding to practice uh, the amount you need to do and then go up, uh, you know, go to school or go to the university and use your brain the whole day before you go out and practice again. I don't think uh, that's possible, um, but of course a lot of uh, badminton players have studies beside badminton and uh, they make it work because the school, um, you know, they do whatever they can to sort of put all the classes in where they fit the athlete the best and that's great. But for me personally, I haven't been able to, to master you know, school um, that way. Um, I would say though that in periods where you feel mentally, mentally good, I think that you, know, you should definitely use your head besides badminton. And for me, it was Chinese. Um, I've been doing self-studies for the last four years now, and I've sort of you know, practiced my Chinese whenever I had the, the time and the mental, uh, mental energy to do it. And that for me have been you know, between practices, but for the maximum of two hours, um, one and a half to two hours, to be honest. And if you do you know, a new language for one or two hours every day, I think you will, you will get really far. Um, but to, to think that you can master both studies at badminton, I think that's going to be hard. But I'm also aware that for most people, you can't give up school just to pursue badminton. Um, and in that case, I think you should really, every Sunday, maybe try to look at your program for the next week and then try to put in all your appointments, your, your training, and then, uh, and then see how you can uh, fit it in the best. This was the first uh, Q&A uh, session here on my YouTube channel. And I do my best uh, to sometimes uh, answer a few of your questions on the different uh, social media platforms, Weibo, Instagram, YouTube, uh, etc. However, um, I don't have uh, all the time in the world uh, and I don't have time to answer all your questions. So I hope these uh, sort of videos will, uh, will help a little bit. Um, at least uh, I'm going to do my best to, to answer uh, the best questions I receive. Um, so I hope you like this one. I'm going to make sure to, to do these uh, pretty frequently. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to write them down below. And uh, it might be that your question is uh, going to be answered in the next video. So thanks for all the support, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and uh, see you soon.